Welcome back everybody to Auto Auction Rehabs where we're actually looking at RVs today and there are quite a few RVs out here and I'm actually quite surprised. There's quite a few that's probably not usable again and there's quite a few that you know they got parked and they got hail damaged and that's it and you can probably come out here take a look at it make arrangements to come out and see it for yourself go online check it out see if there's one you can find that you want to come take a look at come on out here take a look at it get yourself situated with a broker and you can bid on it too take one home for about for okay for a lot less i'm not going to give an estimate as to how much less but i can say for probably for a lot less than what you go to a dealer and buy one for so if you're willing to put a little bit of work into something and you know what you're looking at with rvs especially you got to know what you're looking at because rvs are expensive so take a look around see what there is to see find something you like get your broker and bid on it win it take it home go camping i'm just saying that's what i'm doing today now this is a hideout by Keystone. So that's a good brand. Keystone's a good brand. It's a 2020. That's why it looks so new. Um, all right. Let's go around this side and see if we can find out. There's an X right there. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, I don't see any significant damage. One thing when you're looking for an RV is you want to look on the roof. I don't care if there's a ladder or not. Find a way up there, get a look at the roof, because roof, <laughs> roof damage can be hidden. You know, you drag one of these things under a tree, it's, it's a vinyl roof and it, they just tear. And so one thing you definitely want to look at is the vinyl roof. You want to make sure that it's not torn because they are very expensive to replace. They're coming out with new products now that, that help repair the roof rather than having to replace it all. You have to drive underneath a low branch or something and tear your, your vinyl roof up. It's going to cause you some serious problems. So, all right, let's take a look at this. Oh, maybe we won't take a look at this because it says bio. So I am not going to open the door. We've got blankets over the couches. Hmm. What I want to do is just take a quick look and see if there's any significant structural damage that we can see. And see, the spare tire has never been used. Hideout by Keystone. I bet this is a beautiful trailer inside, um, but I'm not going to risk going in there. This is interesting. This one looks like maybe it had a water heater issue. Hmm. A lot of the fifth wheels that I'm seeing in here are a bit bigger than what I'm looking for. I mean, look at that monster right there. What's that, 38, 40 feet? We can go over there and take a look. Doesn't cost anything to take a look. There's a few more we can look at. So let's move on to this next one. This is a 2016 Grand Design. Um, it does not tell me what size it is. So far it's not looking bad. Grand Design, let's see if it says on here. It's a 350M. Does that mean it's a 35 footer? Maybe. Maybe I would have guessed it would have been more than 35 feet. Got a couple of slide outs. Shall we take a look? So if we're going in that door there, I'm guessing that's to the bedroom. So let's see. I'm looking very carefully to make sure it doesn't say bio anywhere. And it's locked. Well, that doesn't help. What about this one? Ah, oh, looky there. Somebody's been trying to get in. 
This one's open. I wonder if this is a theft. I'll have to double check because I don't think it said on there what the lost type was. Let's go back and take a look. Let's go back and take a look. This one's too big for my needs. This one says lost type other. I don't know what that means. Not a lot of damage back here as far as uh, rock chips and whatnot, so I'm guessing it hasn't been on the road very much. That's one way of telling. Of course, looking at the tires is another. Trailer tires don't last a terribly long time, and those are in pretty good shape. You just don't know if those are the originals or not. All right. Well, the steps are down, so obviously somebody's been wandering around in here. Okay. Well, there's your slide out that comes way into the RV. I'm going to just stick my hand through here and let you guys take a look around. Tell me what you think. Drop a comment down below and let me know what it looks like in there. Does it look good? It smells a little musty. It's not terrible. Not terrible by any means. Drop your ozonator in here. Okay, this has got an extra large shower. They're not usually that big. But this is an extra large trailer too. So, And there's your bed. That's a true queen size bed in there. Very nice. Unfortunately, with most of these models, you cannot get into the back of the trailer through this door that comes to the bedroom. Um, and when they've locked the other one, it makes it pretty much impossible. However, looky there. I wonder. Shall we? Come on, let's take a look. What does this say on it? It doesn't say anything on it. Let's just see if it fits. And if it fits, then we can put it back exactly where we found it. Ouch. Yep, that is the key. Yep, that is the key. Let's see if it helps us out over on this side. Sorry guys, my cam camera hand was drooping a bit. You know what? It does not fit this side. So, apparently, there's different keys for different doors. We will put this key back exactly where we found it. Right over here on that carpet. That's where we found it. That's where we left it. All right. That one wouldn't be bad. I'm looking, honestly, I'm looking for more like a 30 footer because we want to go boondocking. Oh, oh dear. Trailer carnage. Wow. 2014 Aerolite, Lost Type, Other. Wow. It does look like it was built sturdy. It just didn't stay sturdy. Wow. Are these the same? That one is from an Aero Light. This one's an Airstream. Now, is Airstream and Aero Light the same company? I don't know. No, that's got a different number tag on there, so it's a totally different RV. Okay, well, maybe somebody stole the chassis and wanted to go uh, build themselves something. Wrecked it. Who knows? There's some nice looking pull behinds. There really is two hideouts here that one says bio but let's check out the sticker and see what it is this is a 2020 keystone huh it doesn't 
soon tell you what the lost type is. Clouds are coming back in the opposite direction now, so I don't know. That might mean we're going to get some more rain. This is a 2016 Oakmont by Heartland. That's the one we just looked at. How did that happen? Okay. All right, we're gonna go around the corner here and see what there is. Wow. That one looks like a park model over there, the Cherokee. No more, well, there's one more fifth wheel over here. It's a Sierra, much longer than what I'm looking for. Um, looks like maybe it's in rough shape, actually. There's a Wildwood. That's a nice looking pull behind. It does have... All right, this is the Cherokee that we looked at from a distance. And if you get up close, you can see why it's probably here. Can you guys see those? All that hail damage right there? Oh man, the rain just started coming in. Here we go again with the rain. 2015 Cherokee. And here's a tow rig. Man. Looks like an older model. Let's see what it is. It's a 2010 Dodge Ram 3500. I bet it's got a fifth wheel in it. No, nope. no it doesn't. It's got a gooseneck hitch in it. Well, there you go. You want a tow rig? Look it up. Do your research online. There's a nice Dodge sitting right there. So let's look further. Oh, that's a cool boat. See, that's more my style of a boat. A 1999 Chaparral inboard. Wow, nice. I wonder if the engine's still in it. Yep, engine's in it. Mercruiser. Sure enough, two barrel. Uh huh. It's still in there. I bet this was fun. This was a fun boat. So here's a Pioneer. This is a pull behind. But it wouldn't hurt to take a look at it. Pull behind. We've looked at this one. But I think what I want to do at this point is put that number into the app and see where we are with it. Let's see what we get. Yes, it did come up. 2021 Heartland. Auction not yet assigned. So there's no bids on it yet. This, this one's a 30 footer, but it's a pull behind. And I'm looking to see if it shows. It doesn't show whether or not it has a generator. Back when I bought mine, they did come with generators, but apparently now generator is an option, which I find kind of interesting. So there's no bids on it. There's no indication as what the retail value is of it right now. So I can't help you out with pricing, but if you remember correctly, we looked inside and it was a nice looking unit. All right, I think what we want to do is work our way up towards the front again and we will look at some more vehicles. See, somebody was taking care of that one. The air conditioners were covered up with plastic. This is the cruiser we looked at. It was a firefighter's rig, okay? Or a relative of a firefighter. 
and what was the deal with this one? What was the deal with this one? See, it's got your automatic leveling jacks. Let's see if it has a generator. Let's see what we got. No generator. No generator in there. Okay, we'll lock that back up. Let's see, where's the number on this? Oh, right there. Lost type, other. Keystone Cruiser. So, let's put that number in and see what comes up. 2021 Keystone, that's the one. Let's see what it says on here. For this keystone I don't think we went inside this one did we no we didn't it is open and what I might do is just put you guys in there and see what it looks like oops The 2021 Keystone Cruiser is a hail damage vehicle. And waiting on title. It says vehicle location is off site, but that's not the case. That might have been old news. has the propane tanks, heaters, furnace, air conditioner. Okay, none of them tell you whether or not they have a generator. So rather than me yank down these stairs, I'm going to put you guys in here and you can take a look. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad at all. It's got some nice looking furniture in there. It's got a fireplace. You can probably see that right there. Electric fireplace. This is a really nice unit. From what I can tell from out here, you guys can tell me otherwise. Let's go see if the back door is open. The really nice thing about these doors, they might be a little harder to tug on to get them open, but they don't swing around in a breeze. Oh, right to the toilet. That's interesting. Well, there's a slide out right there that's got your dinette on it right next to the toilet. Now, being an RV, yes, everything is compact. But I just don't think that's the floor plan for me. I'd rather have the toilet up by the bedroom and the dinette a few more feet away. That's just me. That's just me, but there is a slide out, which will put your dinette a couple feet further away. Yeah, can't tell without going in. But this says hail damage. There's hardly any wear on those tires. And if it's a 21, my guess is those are the original tires. This thing hasn't been on the road much. This would be an outstanding buy, but unfortunately it doesn't tell us much of anything else. Anyway, I need to start walking up towards the front because the rain is coming. And I'm going to go have some lunch and come back. I'll take you guys on a little trip down memory lane here where we were. Oh, look at that boat. This is the back row of the row that we were on before. Remember that pretty blue semi? Yeah, that's got some front end damage. 
that's the Forza that, whew, that took a hard hit. That Elk Ridge is a fifth wheel. It's got trees all up inside the slide out. There's an oldie but a goodie. Eh? Little pull behind. Jayco. One of those you could probably get away with towing with a half ton. A little Jayco, the XL, SLX. I'm guessing that's a half ton model. But most of them, I'm going to say you would want to have a uh, three quarter or one ton. Oh, look at that boat. My goodness. What a shame. It's got the cuddy cabin too. Wow. Well, I'm going to be smart enough to get in out of the rain, but it's a bit of a walk, so you guys are coming with me. There's a Terry. What year is the Terry? Let's take a look. This is a 2007 Fleetwood. A um, little on the older side for me, for what I'm looking for. It's not in bad shape. I would say they've probably not waxed it or anything and look at the condition of the uh, awning. They might have been living in this. That's why the awning is like it is, because it was out most of the time. Whoa, look at the hail damage on this one. Hail will just mess your stuff up. Wow. Well, this answers a question for me. Those rain gutters really do work. It's only just sprinkling here and the rain gutters are working quite nice. There we go. Question asked and answered. pick up a semi rig that's what they were working on down there is getting that one out to load it up on that truck I'm willing to bet wow look at the beautiful Silverado Silverado LT with all its parts in the back nicely covered up though good on you guys It looks like somebody's taken this stuff apart on purpose. There might have been some small damage. And they were in the process of repairing, it looks like, probably. And for some reason, it was brought here. 2022 Silverado 3500 collision damage. Well. You take a look and you tell me. Yes, it's had collision damage, but it's not all bent up and twisted. Slightly to the left and slightly to the right. So yeah, you know, there might be some undercarriage damage there. You would definitely want to come and check this thing out for yourself. That's a beautiful truck. That is a beautiful truck. Beautiful truck. All right, guys, I'm going to make my way up to the front. I'm going to step out and have some lunch. Maybe the rain will blow away. If it doesn't, we'll come back another day. We've got a few videos here today. It's looking good. It's looking good. There is so much to look at at this yard. And I want to say thank you to the staff here at IAA in Dale, Texas, the Austin branch. And I want to say thank you to the corporate office for allowing me to come out here and do what I do. I appreciate it. I really do. So, wow. Got some nice looking vehicles out here. You guys, if you're looking for another vehicle, you know, for whatever reason you need another car and you're capable of doing a little bit of repairing, I'm going to tell you what. You can find some good stuff out here. 
you can find some good stuff and take it home, fix it up. Probably pay a third of probably pay a third of what you would pay at a dealership. Of course, you got to look at the uh, type of title it has. You got to come out here and look at it. You got to get yourself with a broker so that the broker you can bid through the broker. So you don't have to be um, you don't have to be a dealer to buy. You just have to have the want and the know-how. And hopefully I'm helping you out a little bit with the know-how. And you can go online, check them out, search for the car you want. You might even need a parts car. You'll probably find it here. Go online to IAA.com. Look for whatever it is you're looking for. Do a search on the app. And come out here and take a look for yourself. That's the best way. That, that I'm telling you, after having bought a couple myself, the best way to do it is to come look for yourself. See if it's what you're looking for. See if it's what you want. Take a good look at it on the days that they allow people to come out and take a look and there you go if it's what you want get yourself with the broker bid on it and it's yours it could be yours if the price is right all right everybody thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it thank you to the iaa staff here in austin and thank you to the corporate office i do appreciate you guys very much Take care and we'll see you again really soon on the next one, hopefully when it's not raining. <laughs>